Hey everybody, it's Seth Jones, Editor-in-Chief of Golfdom Magazine, coming to you with another Golfdom Zoom Views. This week I've got the Director of Golf Course Maintenance Operations at the beautiful TPC Southwind in Memphis, Tennessee. This week his course hosts the World Golf Championships FedEx St. Jude Invitational. I'd like to welcome my pal Nick Massans. Nick, how you been? Hey, great. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. You guys are busy, man. I, I, I appreciate your time. <laughs> uh, big tournament coming your guys' way. Uh, just, I guess first off, to, you know, the the dates were moving around. There was a lot going on this year, obviously. And your guys, uh, you were going to host this tournament Fourth of July weekend, and it got moved around. That's what correct. was what was going on in your mind? What uh, did you think that this was going to just <laughs> fall off the calendar, or did you feel pretty good about it? I, I mean, what wasn't going through my mind? I mean, it was uh, pretty pretty wild times. Um, well, you know it whether golf was even going to happen this season was completely uncertain. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there was a very real chance that, that, that everything that, you know, we'd been planning for since the last event um, was going to go away. So hang on one second. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> I've, had sun in, I've had sun in my face all day. <laughs> close some, close some blinds there. Mm -hmm. um no i mean it was it was very very uncertain times i mean not sure not sure what was going to happen uh the pga tour schedule was uh was was all up in the air as far as i was concerned um you know it's <clears throat> they canceled the players after round one and that's when i knew that 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 really that was pretty that rolled me back on my heels pretty good and then and then the masters canceling and then just they just kept kept rolling and rolling and I was where is it gonna stop? You know. And, and it was scary. It was yeah. yeah, it was pretty scary stuff. Yeah. Well, you know, it's funny, you, you you mentioned the players. You know, I was at the I remember I was at Chicago Midway Airport and there was a group of guys we were tr trying to get home. We've been we were on the tail end of a business trip and trying to get home and then uh, there's a group of guys across from me and they're all going to the players on a I think they were flying out like on a Thursday or Friday, and I just thought, I wonder what their weekend's going to be like, you know? And they, <laughs> Missed uh, it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I'm sure they still had a good time, but yeah, I mean, it was just kind of one of those things you you think about, you know, how, how many well, people, and, how many dominoes. And, and, you know, and my heart goes out to all the guys involved, you know, at those tournaments, because I, I know what, I know what goes into the preparation and, and, and the volunteers that have traveled over there, particularly that one, you know, they get, they get, a lot of international volunteers and the, and the travel and the sacrifices that were made for people to get there and for that to for that to, to happen it's pretty scary you know it made, yeah. it made everything pretty real mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well nick you gotta you go back yeah. with all those guys too you gotta you got a close relationship there with jeff and all those guys don't you absolutely absolutely and you know i just like my heart goes out for them and you know the the the, the blessing in disguise that they they have you know they have the players the next year and, and, and a lot of these events are, are annual events. You know, you really start thinking about the, the events that are, that are kind of the one-offs um, that, are, that, are, that are not an annual event per se. And, and the years and years and years of work that have gone into preparation for those, and, and, it, and it's gone. You know, it doesn't happen. It's your chance, chance, to, your chance to showcase the golf course. And, and uh, you know, Jeff's consummate professional, and he, you know, his response when I talk to him is, hey, we're – we're ready. We're getting ready for next year. Yeah. yeah. You know, we, we got three extra days to get ready for next year. <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect. That's that's perfect. Rock on, you know, that's what you got to do. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So, so Nick, what's the weather been like in Memphis for you guys uh, coming up into, into the tournament here? How, how's the mother nation been treating you guys? Uh, fair, fair. It's been, uh, it's, it's kind of, you know, it's always bounces from one extreme to the other. Um, it was a really late spring. It was a wet, wet winter, wet early spring, and just in just a summer was late. You know, spring was long. Uh, May was pretty mild. Uh, we finally started getting warm. Um, we started getting warmer towards the middle of June, and we've been pretty warm here lately. Uh, actually, been in a little bit of a dry stretch. So, so we had a couple showers the last couple afternoons, which was welcomed. Uh, but I'm ready for it to stop. We got enough. <laughs> uh it's it's just it's steamy it's it's definitely warm and warm and feels like memphis yep yep um how, how's the how's the course fared and, and, and anything we should look for when we're watching on tv anything you want to point out to us 
Well, we, we just completed, <laughs> we just completed a full bunker renovation um, that started after the last tournament and ran all the way up until we just got off the golf course May 25th, uh, which was really, the, the day change was, was also a blessing in disguise. It gave us a little bit more time to, to mend in some sod and, and, and get a little bit more established compared to the July 5th date, July 4th date. Um, but yeah, we completed a full bunker renovation that started after the last event. We, we renovated number three fairway. We uh, regraded and resurfaced number seven fairway, expanded the tee box on, on 17. So we've been busy. We've been really busy. Did some tournament enhancements um, along with that, lowered some spec mounds and, and made some things uh, logistically a little bit easier to set up for future events. Expanded some cart paths here and there for, for that tournament enhancement. Um, so we've been, we've been grinding and did the bunker renovation one hole at a time you know, through the winter. So we had a lot, a lot of sod, a lot of Bermuda sod that went down during the winter time. Uh, so that, that, that's a little scary. Um, you know, you always kind of, you always kind of question how it's going to come out. Yeah. Um, but we we fared pretty well, you know, we fared pretty well. And, and I think, I think the winter rains, while they were challenging from a construction standpoint, I think they helped us from a sod standpoint. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So good. we, we ended, we ended 2019 with 82 inches of rain. And, and half of the project, you know, half of the project was, was in 2019. And, and then January, we had six inches of rain, February, six inches of rain and March, we had a nice 12 inches of rain. So, so we were in a really, really rainy stretch through the whole construction process. And uh, it created some challenges, but, but I think the course is, the course is looking pretty fresh. The, the bunk renovation gave it a nice facelift and, uh, and, you know, we didn't architecturally change anything really. Um, we didn't want to change the routing of the golf course. Didn't want to change anything too, too severe. But we made some nice improvements. Okay, great, uh, Nick. I know you're real proud of your, your crew there, and you got you got a, a great staff. But uh, I want to talk a little bit of, about uh, some of your secret sauce there. What what are some, what's the equipment, the equipment that you guys rely on? Anything um, that you're real proud of? Any year, uh, anything in the shop that you want to give a shout out to? I um, mean, our equipment equipment wise, we have a great uh, we have a great. At the TPC network, we have a great partnership with John Deere, um, John Deere Golf. They they they've been really strong partners, and they've taken really good care of us over the years. Um, so I gotta I gotta absolutely give them a shout out. Um, you know, as far as any, there's no secrets, you know, no secret sauce or no secret weapon. You know, it's it's the basics. Uh, you know, it's it's the it's the it's the crew is the crew is the most important part. You yeah. know, that's the most important thing we have, our team. Um, our team and, and John Deere provide some great equipment for us to do our jobs with. Um, and I got to give my dog a little bit of a shout out. She's she's with me every day. <laughs> <laughs> she calls me down. She's my therapy dog. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. I got to give her a little credit. Yep, absolutely. absolutely. But, uh, no, we got it. We got a great, we got a great group. Um, you know, in, in our core our core group, we really, we really had to, uh, really had to rely on. It was, it was just us, you know. When everything started up with the pandemic, uh, it was right about time of year that we start staffing up, and and we weren't able to staff up for, you know, we delayed that several months down the road. So it was, it was, we were in the trenches, you know, in the trenches, just us, you know, a little bit longer than normal, and uh, everybody stepped up to the plate, you know, and they, and they, and they were. There's a lot of, in a time of uncertainty, you know, everybody was uncertain of what, how things are going, which way this is going, how, you know, is it safe to come to work, you know, and, and those guys all pulled together and stepped up and, and uh, you know, that's just, that's, that's type of stuff that really makes you proud. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, that leads me to two questions, but before I forget, uh, what's your dog's name? Did we, did we get her in the underdogs of turf calendar? You know, M Millie. She can't make, she can't make, she can't even make the underdog calendar. We, we just got to send me a photo. <laughs> put every dog in the underdog calendar. She can't, she, she can't even make a photo. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get her, we'll fix that, all right? Give me a good shot, we'll get her in She's there. A, PGA Tour Media has done some videos on her. She's done pretty good on that front. But no, okay. she's, she's been my loyal sidekick for seven years now. So she's pretty cool. Good, good. Everybody uh, who's been to Southwind knows her. 
good, good. Well, talking about your staff and your crew and stuff, and I know, I know you guys. You know, it's 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 the busy time for you guys leading into it, but it's almost seven p.m. We're talking right now. What time did you get on the golf course this morning? What, what were we looking at? How many hours were you out there today? We started at six and uh, and just just walked in the door. Um, I got the friendly reminder that I was late for this call from you, <laughs> and uh, got hung up in the office and and hauled butt out of there. I, I left a few guys behind, but they were wrapping it up. Oh man, well, good job. It up. So, good. I mean, the goal, the ultimate goal, you know, coming into something like this, the ultimate goal is to not, not have to work eighty hours. You know, coming down the stretch, you know, not have to do those those super long days. I mean, you know, if everything works out right, of course, Mother Nature throws curveballs. But if everything works out right and the, and the plan is in place, that that you know, it's not a it's not a massive push to the end. It's it's very calculated and staged out, but. There, there is those, there is those rushes and those, those long days. Good, good. Uh, what about volunteer support? Are you guys going to be? What's that going to be like? I don't know what you're used to and what uh, with the way things have changed. Are you expecting uh, to help? You know, volunteer interest. So we 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 switched over from the FedEx St. Jude Classic. Um, last year was our first year. We switched over to the WGC uh, FedEx St. Jude Invitational. Um, and there was definitely a, a, a pickup in volunteer interest last year um, where we had several guys that traveled in from out of town, regional guys that came in from out of town and, uh, and stayed with us and worked, worked the week with us, which was, uh, which was a little different from the past. We always had a couple guys, but we had, you know, we had a dozen last year that came in and, uh, and did that. And we're having pretty, uh, pretty good signups and pretty good interest this year. And, and as, as everything started coming down the, down the hill you know a lot of those guys and travel plans they got canceled and pushed back um we're down to about six guys that are coming in for the week um and then we're relying on 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 all the local memphis guys to to come out and participate which they usually have a good showing and, and really show the support and uh and understand that it's it's about memphis and, and st jude and and it's it's not just about TPC Southwind at all. Um, so the community kind of pulls together and comes out. And, and this year we're relying on on the, the the local guys probably more than any other year. Good. Okay. Great. Well, it's a great golf town. Great barbecue. I look. We look. I look forward to next time I can get back out there and see you guys. So. Man, you got you got to come see us. I'll do it. I'll do come it. See us. Well, I can't. I can't wait. I'm chomping on the bit to get back out on the road again. Trust me. So. But in the yeah, meantime, how's how's everything? How's everything on your end? Everything. I'm sure things have changed, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, I mean, in in I think it's been what 16 weeks. I've taken one trip. You know, I used to take, I used to travel all over the place, going and look at golf courses and stuff. And now, uh, yeah. this is what I do. You know, calling guys on Zoom and, and talking to guys and having to try to uh, see what's in the background out there. You know, hey, you on a golf course right now? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so. We, uh, it's funny. I, you know, I've been asking a lot of the folks that are in town. You know, with Shot Link and and uh you know tournament setup guys that are coming around our agronomists you know they're every one of them rules officials they're they've all they this is the the longest amount of time they've all spent at home in you know 20 years i believe it. <laughs> I believe it. in 20 years you know their their dogs are the dogs are they're bonding with them and <laughs> <laughs> spending more time with their family it's not, you know they're they're gonna make it the best of it but it's, yeah. been, it's been an adjustment Yep, for sure, for sure. I like to talk to the families and see what they have to say. They're probably going, they're ready to get back on the road. Trust me, my, my wife's like, are you sure you don't need to go somewhere? <laughs> you know? yeah, 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 no doubt. Cool. No well, doubt. Hey, well, hey, Nick, I appreciate you taking the time. To, I, I know it's a busy time for you guys, and I uh, appreciate you taking some time out of your schedule to talk to oh, us. Oh, man, thanks for, thanks for having me. I, I certainly appreciate it. Absolutely. We appreciate I'm, you I'm and everything you. that y'all do in the, in the voice for the golf, golf industry. Okay, absolutely. Well, hey, everybody, this is Nick Besans. He's out there at uh, TPC Southwind. Be sure you tune in this weekend for the uh, FedEx St. Jude Invitational. I'm Seth Jones. Thanks for watching us here on Golfdom's Zoom Views.